Hi guys, my name is Rosita. I am one of the singing teachers here on Take Lessons. So today I want to talk about is a very thin voice. What causes it? Or if you think that you have a weak voice. Well, there's basically two primal things that it could be. Now it's very common, especially for beginning singers. Let's start with number one. Breathiness. So, what happens? So whenever we breathe, you know, air passes through our vocal cords. Now, to provide that breathiness sound, the cords are not coming together cleanly. Uh, cleanly. Granted, breathiness is not a bad thing to have. It's just we have to learn how to control it. Okay, breathiness, it is used to, you know, add like a form of texture to a song. So what causes it? Well, about how you breathe basically causes it. So either we're losing the support that we need, or we're taking short breaths, or if you've had singing instructors before, having high breaths. If you've never heard of any of those phrases, I'll tell you what they are. Basically, is you're lifting up your shoulders and your chest. So I'm doing something like this, like First of all, I look really tense, right? And even my voice sounds different. And it hurts just a little bit. Oh, hopefully you guys did not hear that. Um, now, when we're doing that, we're adding pressure to our throat. You're gonna feel tension and Whenever we're using that high breath, the short breaths, when we sing, we automatically use our throat to sing, which we want to avoid at all costs. So how can we fix this? Well, you're watching the right video. When we inhale, okay, we're going to push out our stomach. Now, I know how that sounds. You're like, why? Don't worry, I don't like doing it too, especially that I'm also losing weight. So, but if by doing these exercises, you're actually going to get an ab workout. So, it's a win win situation. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to stand up. So, when I'm inhaling, I'm pushing out my stomach outward so the diaphragm and the lungs can expand, take that air in. And then when I exhale, I'm going to pull my stomach in. I was going to say despacito. I'm going Spanish on you guys. Um, slowly. There we go. <laughs> and that's going to help me provide the support. All right, so let's just try that together. So mouth open. We're going to use our mouth and our nose to breathe at the same time. Good. So... I know it's going to be hard at first. It's doing this at the same time. And especially for so long, we've been taking high breaths and short breaths automatically. Fun fact, we actually breathe correctly when we're sleeping. This is why most of the times we yawn in the mornings. Also, check out newborns. They're automatically using their diaphragm um, or belly breaths to breathe. So our body knows it. It's just we trained it to do it differently. So let's get back to the right habit. It's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna lie to you on that one or deny. Now, another reason that um, we have this breathiness is taking too much air. What, what What's wrong with taking too much air, you might be asking. Well, if <laughs> you're singing a lot. Um, so, as we're inhaling, 
and you're pushing all the air out when you're exhaling, the resulting in this tone. I get another creepy tone. I feel like a cartoon from Alice in Wonderland here. So, we want to use that control again. So whenever we speak, hi there. There was some, there was strength to it. There was a tone to it. It was less breathy, right? Okay, so when we take too much breath, and again, this is a common mistake that beginner singers or beginning singers take. Um, we expel the air really, really fast and the chords defense mechanism is to get away from that air, like, no! So, the exhale, you want to control when you exhale. Work on the support, it's going to help. So, as you can see, basically, it has to do with breath. It's 90% of the case. Now, the second reason is it's psychological. Yeah, don't worry. Everyone comes me becomes mental while they're singing. No, it's in a good way. So, basically, when we when we want to sing, we want to make it sound pretty, right? So instead of singing, it doesn't work. We want to make it more like, ah, which trust me, we don't want to do, okay? None at the least. So I'm having some issues here. Okay. So how can we fix this? Well, let's bring our speaking voice into our singing voice. And how on earth do we do that? Well, let me upload a piano track and I shall show you. Okay, there we go. So, try saying, hey there. Hey. Hey there. Now let's try putting it some, well, let's try to sustain it a little bit. Hey there. Hey there. That'll be for guys. Now if I, uh, let me just go up an octave here. Hey there. Hey there. Right? That's helping out, right? Let's turn a little bit higher. Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there. Hey there. All right, so hopefully this video helps. Um, again, remember guys, if you can speak, you can sing, okay? Um, just don't doubt yourself. Don't listen to other people saying, oh, you can't sing, you know? Who are they, I can tell ya. Actually go to someone, go to any vocal coach here on Take Lessons that are legit, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you, we'll be honest with you. But you got to put in the work and most important, you'll have to believe and have patience. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay? All right. Hopefully I'll get a chance to talk to you soon. Bye.